My name is Samuel Hong. I'm the chairman of the Hong Kong Dolphin Conservation Society. I've been studying the local Chinese white dolphin for 15 years now. We are heading off to uh, uh, conducting some uh, research on the Chinese white dolphin. We are heading to the western part of Lantau Island and uh, we will follow some specific routes. Uh, and while we are on those routes, uh, we will look for dolphins. Uh, these are called the transect lines and uh, this method is called the line transect survey uh, to look for dolphins and study the distribution and uh, use the data collected from here to uh, deduce the abundance estimates of dolphins uh, in the area. Because of the airport construction, dolphins used to occur in this stretch of coastline, but now they've become kind of blocked off, so we don't really see dolphins within this channel anymore. The bridge will also enhance Hong Kong's position as a trade and logistics hub. So what's going on here is uh, they're uh, building the Hong Kong Chair Macau Bridge and uh, there are lots of more piling works going on here. Uh, you can see all those uh, tugboats that are being set up to uh, construct the bridge pier that is supported by some pile and they have to drive those piles into the bedrock to anchor the, the, the bridge itself. And uh, during those ball piling work, those noise generated by uh, those construction activities can affect uh, the foraging activities of dolphins and maybe the resting behavior and socializing behavior as well. So this is something that we are quite concerned about. You know, you know. Oh, baby, baby. If you see baby, that means that uh, there's still hope. Uh, we are really worrying about the high calf mortality. Some of them are dying uh, from all the construction activities and threats. So whenever we see baby, we're really excited. However, I'm getting more and more pessimistic about the future of the dolphin population, uh, mainly because we have seen uh, quite a lot of calves that die quite early. Uh, maybe they are disturbed by the stress from the acoustic disturbance from all the boat traffic and construction activities, or maybe they are being troubled by uh, the, the effects of the environmental pollutants. Everyone feels that the bridge has to be built. It has the, the blessing from the central government, and we even call it as a political infrastructure. So it has to be built. You know, they, they just don't really want the dolphins to stand between you know, development, uh, and uh, stop you know, the, this construction of the bridge. They think that you know, every uh, problem can find a solution by you know, solving it by money. <laughs> For them, uh, there's no no-go option. They can see that the environmental impact assessment uh, cannot be passed. Uh, the only way that we can do anything about it is to find out a solution whether we can mitigate the impact, but we cannot say no to that kind of political infrastructure. And I think that's the frustrating part of it. Oh, see that? Oh, that's a baby one. See that? That's a newborn calf.